All right, everybody. We are back in my dilapidated crack house of a shop. My apologies if the audio is absolute garbage on this thing. Finally getting ready to start on the 55 project. It's been a long time coming. My goal for today is to get this thing pushed out of here, blow these fenders and doors off. Then I'm gonna come in here with a pressure washer I reach in here and turn this light on. Oh, look at that. All that Swiss cheese goodness. But now I'm going to get a pressure washer. I'm going to try to blow all this impacted rat fecal matter out of here. And, uh, yeah, I have to cry about how much sheet metal I'm going to have to replace. Oh, it would be nice to get the smell out of here, too, because let me tell you, this thing is ripe. Just look at that. It's a crying shame, boys and girls. So a little bit of backstory on this car. My old man picked it up back in about 1990, and it's uh, it's been sitting around since then, parked right over there. But unfortunately, he ended up passing away before we could actually get started working on it. Sorry about that fan right there. It's probably deafening you right now. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally ready to get started on it pretty excited so that's what this is it's uh gonna be like a tribute build if you could say that no i'm not gonna make it a gasser no it's gonna not gonna be this color with satin clear coat over it it's just gonna be a fun driver so come with me take this journey let's forge a path together or just watch me break a lot of stuff all right, boys, look at that. Pretty simple, pretty painless so far. Whole front end was basically held on with these little license plate screw dudes. Whatever. They had J-nuts. I'm pretty sure it's factory. Right now, i got to head to my job. Get a, a little impact driver for these Phillips in the door so I don't snap every one of them off just because I said that now. And, yeah. All right, got the front end off, the doors off. Got it sprayed down with degreaser. Oh, already smells better. Oh my God, you guys should be standing here. This is my patented degreaser recipe. I mean, you get near this stuff and it'll dissolve your eyes and give you diarrhea. Yeah, here's that screw. Didn't really want to come out surgical precision with the, the old gas axe over there and actually my tool right here actually kind of twisted the bit a little bit look at that that's what determination looks like boys and girls there's the sloppy boy right here that we pulled out slug for the 55 Let's see if I can get a better look at this thing without breaking my neck over these fenders there she is Pulled it out of a crap -a uh, just a 5.3, nothing special, out of a crap -a lanch Me and my buddy yanked it out for like 400 bucks. Yeah, up in the northern states, these trucks, they just kind of rot into two pieces, so their motors up there are just like stupid cheap. Oh, we got most of the floor sprayed out. Kind of see what I got to work with in here, which is a plus because it doesn't smell like putrid death in here anymore. But I've been messing around with this stuff, with the pry bar. Some creative patchwork going on in here. A whole lot of sheet metal screws. This thing's been restored before. I mean, look how shiny that damn firewall is. If, you could, if it comes up on the camera. But anyway, we're going to keep digging in on it. That's not the fun part. Start grinding all this stuff out of here. But yeah. And this Greenworks power washer that I got actually kicks ass. I got it at Lowe's for like 150 bucks. Just drop the nozzle on the ground like a piece of shit. All right. But yeah, we're we're just trucking along. I had like one bolt down here. Oh shit. Okay, we're still recording. I had like one bolt down here that like heat up. One of those annoying Phillips that go around the door hinge trim ring that you got to sledgehammer the shit out of. 
But other than that, really hasn't been giving me any problems. Everything just kind of broke loose. No broken bolts or anything like that, which is a plus. Nice little galvanized patch panel. Look at that. Stuff is starting to shine. I mean, it's basically finished. It's already a Riddler car ready to go across the auction block. I'm pretty sure the original color of this thing was white. Because, like, you could see over here, I don't know if you can see that, the door jam up here. It's all like shiny red. Whatever they slammed into something back in like 1965 or whatever. Then you come over here. Oh, look at this. Nice original paint. That like someone's been painting on the firewall right here. But whatever. It's all gonna be black when I'm done anyway. Joe Bud. A lot of weight reduction. Lots of weight reduction. This is all the stuff I'm having to grind out of the car. It's all that gooey, rubberized undercoating that never really dries. Anyway, that's where we're at so far. Thanks for watching, guys.